Hello, is anybody out there? Stay there. Happy New Year! <laughs> hi, Don. Hi, Ned. Hi, the cynic. Hi, Janice. Hi, Monique. Happy New Year. Hi, Karen. Hi, Jane. I'm going to grab my other phone so that when I flip this down, I can still see anything. Hey, Judy. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Lori. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Pat. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Simona. I'm good. I'm really good. Uh, it's Yeah, it's fun to be back in the kitchen. Hi, Mary. Hi. It's already January 1st. You're already in 2024. Hi, Kirsten. Hi, Invisible Dimension. <gasps> From Rustin. Oh, my gosh. Hi, neighbor. Oh, hi, Arissa. Long time no chat. Hi, Sherry. Oh, my gosh. All right, let me get my other phone. Talk some amongst yourself. It's right around the corner. See, now I've got my other phone, so I can like prop this up, and then when I get the camera down, I'll be able to see, hopefully. View channel. We got 44. I'm never in the kitchen anymore, Sherry. I'm in my studio. This is the first time I've painted in my kitchen since um, the second week of January, last this year. And then I moved out, especially of drinking. Yeah, I am gonna have um, a beverage. That's why I decided to do it, because I felt like people were missing the kitchen. And, you know, I had to drive to my studio, and you know, not good to drink and drive, so. Do it at home in the comfort of my own own home and then i can uh you know collapse on the couch <laughs> hold on i'm gonna get a beverage my husband opened up a bottle of something for me i got me uh, a bottle of champagne Oh, that's right. I was back in the kitchen with a broken foot. You guys remember my life better than I do. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Here's to great art, great health, fame and fortune, and family. Not in that order. 2024. Clink, clink. Oh, NyQuil. You know what? If I... Isn't NyQuil like something like 10% alcohol? I think it is. Cheers, Brenda. Cheers. I'm gonna give people, um, what time is it? 7.06, we'll go at 7.10, I'll get the camera down. I figured I would do two deconstructed blooms, I haven't, truly deconstructed blooms in a while and there was no way I was gonna bring in a spinner into my kitchen. I don't know if you can tell, but like it's all like different colors and it's been, we had the whole house repainted. Oh, sick for a month, oh my gosh. So yeah, I, I'm trying to be careful and not get paint everywhere. So I went to the studio today, mixed up some colors. Hi Heidi. And 
prepared and then I have a couple other colors for you guys to choose when we go to do the second one so oh my gosh 70 people here already what do you think should we go oh my goodness So, the people who are messaging me in the regular chat, look for the live chat feature and chat there, not in the comment section. There's a couple of you stuck in the comment section. Yes, these are new glasses. I've had them for like a month now. And my hairdresser screwed up my haircut. Look. <laughs> It'll grow out though. I'm like, what is this? I look like I'm four. <laughs> oh my gosh happy new year i'm not even gonna pretend to can i just call you priya it's probably easier um hi marcia oh my gosh marcia i haven't chatted with you in forever too all right so that means you know new people we need to like have a code word that if i say something a lot you have to tell me to drink i just don't know what i say a lot besides um <laughs> what could be our code word? Mm. Well, I'm glad you have something that you could tune in at Annalisa drink. <laughs> Oklahoma. Da. Oh my God, Annette, I'd be gone in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Follow the wave. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm, Amsterdam. When I giggle, that might be a good one because, yeah, say picky pants toward the end. I think when I giggle, you guys should make me drink then, but only if you join me. Like if you say it and make me do it, then you have to take a swig too. Deal? I feel like that's fair. Picky pants and giggles, TLP. I'm only going to say that. I'll be saying that a few times tonight. All right, deal? All right, Christine says deal. All right, I am going to, you know, there's the kitchen. Oh, check out, what are these flowers called? Does anyone know? Like you buy the ball. Like I got this at Home Depot. It begins with an A. And you buy them and then you don't water them. You don't do anything. You just like pluck it down and then they grow and they turn into that. Isn't that like spectacular? Does anyone know what they're called? Amaryllis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. So let me put up my other phone on the little stand so that when I get you down on the canvas, at least I'll be able to see the chat. Oh, this is working out. So I'm gonna futz with the camera for a second to make sure you guys can see the canvas. So hold on, so up you go. Oh, that's pretty good. Wait, and turn it a little crooked. Let me go, let me just move this. How's that? That's not bad, right? Futs. Do I say futs a lot? I think I do. Oh my gosh, since 2019. Hi, Carol. Oh, oh, I just stepped on my dog. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, boy. Uh, I gotta stir up some house paint. So, I don't know if I talked about this in, in videos lately. But my Home Depot is, it has high turnover, like in the paint department. So they're constantly restocking. And when they get their new batches of the PPG Multi Pro, I don't know if they're mixing them all or what, but they've been full of bubbles. So I've taken to going to a not so nice part of town and going to the ghetto <laughs> Home Depot where I buy like the dusty cans and then the, then the paint is perfect. But this can looks pretty good. So that's good. 
Oh my goodness. Hey, if we get any trolls, can you guys like let me know so I can like mute them or whatever? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry to hear that, Carol. That's awful. Oh, I love that movie, Michelle. Do I ever use the 83800 anymore? Yeah, it's it's my pouring medium. My pouring medium recipe is half 8300 and half Valspar. Um, but I have some I brought with me, so sorry it's not, you know, it's already mixed up. I didn't bring all those big cans. I'm gonna show you the colors though, because this is what I did at the studio, and I gotta do this by memory. These are, these are just weird little cups. And let me break open my spoons. Yay, I'm glad you figured it out, Angie. I know. <laughs> I am using Abby. I haven't tried the Amsterdam pearls yet, but tonight I have some Arteza pearl. Um, and I really like theirs too. Sorry, got a batch of spoons. So this first color, like this is Arteza pistachio. So that's color number one. And then this is black cell activator. That's just lamp black by Amsterdam. So we're gonna use that. And then this color here, uh, this is Lucas Crystals. Have anyone tried the Lucas? Hey, Carla, welcome. Hey, Tara. Oh my gosh. Watching on TV, no way, Tara. Get me off the TV right now. I am way too big. I always expect everyone to watch me in my face on like, you know, a little tiny screen. That's it. <laughs> oh shit, I got a drink already. Hold on. I gotta watch out for Dawn. I have a finger. Fig oh my gosh, I can't talk now. <laughs> I have a big. Um, I think Dawn is gonna be like keeping track. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't like to think about TV watching. I really don't. Well, crap. Now I got. I gotta just get out the bottle. Hold on. I had dinner though. I made sure. I ate before. So I am drinking La Marca uh, sparkling wine. It's pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. So, all right. Let me top myself off. And I gotta get all serious. So don't laugh. If my paint gets too thick though, maybe we'll mix it up with some wine. It's a liquid, right? Oh, thanks for watching, Gigi. You're gonna be exhausted. But it's New Year's Day, you can sleep in. All right, so next color we have, yeah, so this is um, Frost from Lucas Crystal something or other. I know, I haven't even started yet, right Dawn? We have a little bit of um, this little piggy in Wild Atlantic, just a little bit, and it seems a little thick. I don't know, who double dog dares me to put some um, wine in this to like mix it up a little? What do you think that'll do? It's alcohol, right? <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. What could go wrong? Hold on. I know I owe you a drink because I heard myself laughing. So this is how we're going to thin it out. I mean, I only put in like, I don't, you're not going to be able to see it, but there's only like four little drops of the wine just because it was a little too thick. All right, don't waste the wine. Don't torch. I don't, I don't even have a torch. So 
So, all right. There's Wild Atlantic. This color here, I don't think I'm using it. This is for the next one, but this is Enchantment. So we're just, he's just gonna get benched for a second. And then we have, I'm kind of in love with this color palette. This is Arteza's, oh, what's it called? What is this color called? It's Arteza and it's one of their metallics. The name will come to me, I don't remember. And this is super thick, super, super thick. What a waste of good, it's only like, it's not like I'm dumping in half a glass, it's only a couple drops. I have a full bottle for one person too. And like, I'm kind of curious what, if anything will happen. See, um, can you see there how much I put in? What if I tilt it? Can you see, like it's barely anything. Maybe it'll make it fizzy. Every drop counts. <laughs> this is true. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, it's banana. It's banana yellow. That's what that is. I knew I'd remember. So there's those four. And then we have another piggy color. This is Horizon. I feel like they thickened up just on the drive here. It's kind of cold here. This needs a little bit too. Oh my gosh. Hi, Alexandria. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't tell the folks at Fluid Art Co that I'm adding sparkling wine to their pigments. There we go. Oh, yeah, see, it makes the consistency really nice. Spilled it on my canvas. So there's those five. And then one more. This is Honeycomb Piggy. Yeah, they all thickened up on me. They're, like, really gloopy. That's no good. Am I trying to get cells? I... I, this, don't shoot me, but I have never, ever had problems getting cells, ever. Like, I will blow over things with the hairdryer two or three times and still get cells. And I don't know what I'm doing different from anybody else. But that's never really been an issue. I'm all about the hairdryer and, and blowing wispies and blowing things around. That's what I, what, like, when I don't film... And I'm just goofing off. Like I had a girlfriend over um, yesterday at the studio for like six hours. And all we did was blow paint around. Happy New Year, Gigi. Oh, rain droplet cells. Ah, cool. All right. So this is the color palette. That's it. And then I have, um, I showed you my cell activator. I feel like... Yeah, nope, that's it. And then for later, I know, you know, QNAG or, or, and I are broken up, but I brought my QNAG in my gold with enchantment. Or no, this, I'm sorry, this is an enchantment. This is crescendo. And then I also have violet rain for the second one and some Billabong. So that's the next palette. Okay. Let me put all this stuff way over here. My kitchen island seems super tiny to me. Now, 12 by 24 canvas seems tiny. Let me put on some gloves. And let's do this. 98 people. Who hasn't spoken up and said hi yet? Say hi. Who's lurking? Who are the lurkers? Like, I'm going to watch, but I'm not going to talk. <laughs> Nobody? 
All right, here it goes. So I stirred up my PPG Multi Pro. My canvas is a little out of focus. Is that for everybody? Is it just a shadow? Hi, hi Linda, hi Melinda. I knew you couldn't be good. I know, we're like, I don't know. One of these days I will sing, we are never ever getting back together, but. <laughs> hey everybody, does it look out of focus? Okay, it looks okay in my camera. All right, here we go. Let's put down our, our puddle. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll add more later if we need it. Put this over on the right because I'm a lefty. I'm checking for bubbles. I see a couple, but I don't think I brought a torch. Hold on, I'm gonna dig through my bag. My bag of goodies. Aha, I take it back. I do have a torch and a straw. So very quick, so as not to burn the house paint. Just, there's micro bubbles everywhere. So, bubbles be gone. All right, so, I'm just gonna do a bloom and then we'll look at it and just take it from there. I'm totally winging it. Yes, this, well, PPG, I was mad at PPG, but we never really officially broke up um, because I do like, I like color to go, but like I, I'm buggered that they don't sell it in gallons and like, you know, going there and buying 16 quarts and I, it's, even when it's on sale, it's just not as economical as the PPG Multi Pro. So now I go to a ghetto Home Depot and buy the old cans. <laughs> Um, so let's start with banana, banana yellow from Arteza. This has the wine, or yeah, this has the sparkling wine in it too. So there's the banana. And then I think I'll do... I think I'm going to do the happy color. So I'm going to do Horizon next. And then Honeycomb. Did I giggle? I wasn't even aware of it. Hold on. Clink, clink, salute. Okay. Um, so Honeycomb. Let's look how pretty they are together. And then some, we'll go with the um, pistachio. This is Arteza. And then just like a little bit of the wild Atlantic. I don't want a lot of that color something like that and then the frost from lucas crystals is that like amsterdam lucas crystal piggies golden tonight and arteza so like five different brands oh i like that too that's pretty but I'm gonna go ahead, I really want, um, I think I really like these three colors together. So I like this pistachio with the two, like the, the horizon. And then the honeycomb. Oh my gosh. Isn't that a pretty palette? Oh my gosh. 
Let me move all these out of the way. You're gonna have to help me remember that order as the evening goes on because I'm already feeling this sparkling wine. I forgot, the one thing I forgot from my studio is my hair dryer. So I'm using my personal hair dryer. It is a, what is it? It has absolutely no brand name on it. I'm using some big orange hair dryer. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh wait, I'm using a Infinity iPro Con Air. All I know is it has um, hot, warm, and cool, so I can put it on cool air, and it has the cool button, so that's good. Oh shit, did I giggle again? No, I didn't. Did I? I don't remember laughing. Did I get my hair dryer cord in there? I don't see it. Where? Oh, that's old. See, it's blue. Look. See, that's old. Okay. I did. I did giggle. Oh, shit. All right, hold on. G-E. Open it up. You have just dragged the cord through the paint. I don't see it. There's no white on it. Oh, yes, there is. Shit. I think you guys should have made me um, drink for cursing. Hold on. Let me wipe this off because, yeah, you're right. I did. Look. <laughs> that one, that giggle doesn't count. Oh, well, this might be my new, like, art hair dryer. I have a feeling. Let me plug it in. Damn it. What's another buzzword? I know. I'm going to be, this is going to be some drunk tilting, y'all. All right, gotta get serious now. It's time to blow this out. All right, here goes the first bloom. See, I think the um, the wine and the paint made bu extra bubbles, but we'll see. All right, that looks pretty good. Put you somewhere safe. All right, I'm gonna blow this out. Apologies for the noise. Cool air, high fan. moved did you see that like how close I got and nothing moved at all I am going to dig in my bag I'm gonna take my little spatula and I'm gonna smush this all together to like puff up the puff up the um, pillow and try to blow that out again that was weird all right Put the nozzle on i hate i don't like blowing with the nozzle because it makes everything like in those straight lines like this i will though if this doesn't work this time
that that hair dryer sucks. It, that is high fan. That was high fan. I'm checking my CA. It seems pretty great. Huh. That's going to bum me out. Maybe I borrowed my my daughter's hair dryer. Echo. Drop in on Chloe. This seems fine. Hey, honey. Chloe. What? Hi. Can I borrow your hair dryer, please? Why? Because mine's not working. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. boy. Thank you. Echo. Cancel. I'm going to thin out my CA just a little bit to see if that helps. Hi, Garrick. Chloe to the rescue. It's the wine's fault. <laughs> I am, that's right, we tell the paint, they're not the boss. Is the vent plugged? No, it's a brand new hair dryer, GE. There's like, look how clean it is. Let me try oh, yours, honey. Great. It's just not blowing around, but thank you very much. I'm live right now, just put it right there. Thanks so much, honey. Yep. Okay, we are switching to a Remington something or other. But it has a cool, cool air too. Let's try this. Chloe's hair dryer to the rescue. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> um, as long as I don't get any paint on it. But yeah, that worked really well. That other one was terrible. I hate this blowout. We're going to leave it. I'm going to do another one right here. We might revisit this before we tote it out. And I better mix up my uh, cell activator. Thanks, Garrick. It, I think the next blowout will be better, but we really like the colors. So we're going to go again. I think I'm going to put down just like a bloop. As Lisa would say, just like a bloop of paint right here. Because that's where I'm going to put the next one. And let's go again. So let me see. Drink, drink, drink. Really? Oh, shoot. Hold on. Cheers. Hi, Linda. Hi, Jax. Two times. Really? How about with just one big guzzle? There, see? All right. All right. So here we go again with banana something. Banana yellow. Then what did I do? I did, did I do this green? It looks like I may have, I did this green. Pistachio. And then the bright colors. Caterpillars, I haven't heard that in a long time either. So that was Horizon. Oh, this is looking pretty right here. Honeycomb. A little bit of 
Wild Atlantic. And Frost. And then, what did I like together? The bin oh no, I like the um, pistachio. I did honeycomb first that time, that's okay. And then, horizon. And maybe we'll put a dollop of banana just for the sea to have a uh, two paint to sit on yes Finn is laying at my feet we are very attached to each other okay blowout number two let's see how this goes to tilt to to blow that I was all like <laughs> discombobulated that was a terrible blowout and yes I know I was laughing oh my gosh oh my gosh but Finn is a year and a half old oh my gosh um, I'm gonna do a third one I think I'm gonna puff yeah, see, I, I totally screwed this up. I love this little bit right there. And I know it probably looks white on camera, but it's that banana yellow color. Chug. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What the? It's not even... It's only 740. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's two glasses down. Um, we'll let that set up. Just for, for the hell of it, let's squeeze in another one. Right here. One. See if I can remember the order. Two. This is all wrong, but I don't care. I know that didn't go there, but that's okay. So when Triart first came out and we started using it as a cell activator, I was like madly in love with it. But sometimes I got to say, I kind of switched back to Amsterdam um, just for, because it's always consistent. I don't know if anyone else has problems from time to time like I do, but I was like, it doesn't always work. So I had to give up on it. Chase them with a glass of water. Uh, blow it. I oh, am. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, so that was pistachio. I totally changing up the orders on this last one. Let's do pistachio and frost together. Kind of like that. And then we'll do... 
Oh, hold on. I'm going to do a little bit more Wild Atlantic now. And then we'll do our bright colors. I agree with you. I like safe too, Garrick. It's just consistently good all the time, no matter what. It's like a good neighbor. Amsterdam is there. Okay, last one. Here goes. Like I don't have a lot of real estate with this. I'm gonna move all my cups and, and my paint out of the way to tilt. Is Karen present? What do you mean, Epiphany? I'm present and accounted for. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's just the hydration. All right, hold on a second. I will drink some water. Chug girl, oh my gosh. Are you, hold on, GE, are you drinking with me? Or are you just trying to boss me around? This is what I wanna know. With? All right, hold on. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take someone's advice and drink some water. All right, I'm just waiting for this to collect. It's almost there. This one's collected. This one's still pressed in a little bit. This is my favorite so far. I'm gonna take some off my countertop and wet down the corners. Something like that. Yay, Arissa. What's activating the cells? This is, the black is mixed differently from all the other colors. This one color is mixed with Australian Floetrol. So when I put that on top of all the colors and blow it around, that's what makes the reaction. That's the CA or cell activator. I don't like this dark spot right here. That looks like it's trouble. I might deliberately wreck into it. And I don't want to just tilt it back and forth. I want to get some movement going. So I think I'm going to head this way first. I feel like there's a lot of paint on here. Just get coverage first there and there. Leave paint on it. Kind of like when you're doing a flip and drag. 
I'm just gonna tip off this corner. Oh, I'm kind of fearless because I'm half buzzed. Let me stop a second. Okay, I'm gonna cream into this so that I'm gonna lose that. Because I'm gonna smush it as I go to that corner. I'm just gonna go upside down for a second because that's the quickest way. See? Okay, now it's getting some movement. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna go off just a little bit here just to take off the black that was on the, on the edge. That's okay, Epiphany. I don't know your real name, but Epiphany, I everyone thinks like I'm this big drinker just because I've had I have a couple videos where I do this. But honestly, I drink maybe maybe three times a year. Um, tips about tilting. Um so for deconstructed blooms, a beginner deconstructed bloom is there's three blooms and then people tend to tilt and all their, they, they stretch them out. What you want to do is make it look like that was a bloom. I can't believe that was a bloom. You don't want it to look like a bloom. You're deconstructing it. That's what deconstructed means. It's taking something and deliberately changing it so it looks like something else. So for me, for these, it's about movement and composition. This, I really hold, I really like this whole part. This side is too stretched out. See, like if I hold it up to the camera, you can see. Um, so I tend, you know, I go for coverage first and then movement second and then composition third, which is probably should be composition first, but that's what works for me. So now, like, I love all this here, and here are my options for tilting. I can either just go straight across, which would make it very linear again, or pick an angle. So I can either go, like, up this way or down this way. So what I do is I stand here, and I think about the consequences of my actions. And so I try to predict, well, what will happen if I tilt a certain way so I tried to like stop and I noticed you don't use the hair dryer after the initial blow why not hold that thought so getting back to like what's the consequences of my action so I try to imagine what's going to happen next if I pick a direction so I already know from just experience that if I just like tilt this way and stretch everything across, I could probably get a pretty painting and be done. And we could move on to the next one. Or I could try to get fancy and tilt toward a corner because this would, the middle would be straight or pick a corner. So now I look at my corners and I think, if I tilt toward this corner, I'm going to lose all this cool stuff. There's no way of saving it. If I tilt toward this corner, what's going to happen? This will elongate this way. This will kind of like kind of stay in the middle and get stretched out. And I'll lose this part here. And I don't really care about losing this part here. So for me, that would be like the winning choice of like things to do, so which would mean going like literally diagonal to that corner just to get some movement. You can see how fast the paint is moving. Like, wee, And as I come to that corner, and as soon as I get there, I'm going to stop a second and then come back. And see, to me, to my eye, and a lot of this is like personal preference, is that um, yeah, it's just personal preference. Like, I, I don't want it to look like a bloom. That's why I started doing this. Um, the original deconstructed bloom, I'll show you in a minute, is hanging here in my kitchen. 
never to be sold. But see how it's not so linear? And this like rushes down and it's just, to me, it's more visually appealing. So now I'm looking at things that I don't like, like this little blurry area can go off. I like how the cells got stretched so they're going in different directions. I like that this isn't straight across. I like the quiet area at the top. I'm kind of like digging this painting, y'all. I'm gonna take this off right here and maybe when I do it, it'll get rid of this dark spot. So, <laughs> hi Claudia. I hope that was, that was a long explanation. But so there goes the blurry part in a little bit of the um, cell activator. And just like, let me stare for a second. I like my quiet area with the watercolor effect here and in the corner. I like to walk around and, and look at it from all angles. I'm kind of digging the colors of this one, y'all. <clears throat> Any other questions? Uh, you're welcome, Rebecca. Yeah, I really like the colors of this one. Um, and I'll get you down for a close-up on both of them um, when we're done. I don't know. I'm pretty happy. Does anybody want to see it tilted or anything? If I'm using your 50-50, I don't have golden high-flow medium. Can I use... I don't know, understand your question. The PM, like the, the high flow. I don't understand your question, Priya. Oh, thank you, Sonia. I appreciate it. How are you, hon? Haven't like talked to you since PoorCon. I think I'm calling it and saying ta-da. I'm really, really happy with this. I have another canvas already. You want to do one more? Because, like, I have an empty glass. One more? What do we think? Or right, stop here. I think I see, like, one thing I would, if I was in my studio, I would probably take a skewer and see this line right here where I'm pointing. I would drag that black and, like, have it, like, fade out a little more. But other, you know, that's, like, Ultra, ultra picky. Of course, another one. Okay. Um, more, more, more. Ta -da! Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I really like this one. Okay. Um, well, how? Where am I going to put it? All right, hold on a second. I need to I'm gonna put it on my other countertop. Okay, good man. You're gonna have to move, buddy boy. Be back in again. Oh, I better not do that over the uh, art. Okay, so I got a fresh glass. And I'm, I'm glad. I am glad I used this size because it does have the handles where I can just pick it. Look at that again. And plop it. It doesn't look like the um, the alcohol in my art did anything at all. So here's the next one. Can you see that? No, this way. Yeah, it's crooked this way. I need to um, mix up a color, couple colors so I can do, do that in front of you because this one is going to be, the color palette is going to be Crescendo. Definitely. And then we need to make up some um, Violet Rain. 
I'm trying not to poof. And I'm gonna hold it at arm's length because I did forget my mask. And I think I forgot. Oh no, I remembered cups. Dang, I was all organized this afternoon. So here's how I mix if you've never seen me mix. Like I'm due for a new mixing video. I use these little spoons that I get from the Dollar Tree. They hold like um, a quarter of a teaspoon. So do a heat beans, so that's like a half a teaspoon. I plop it into my little three ounce cup. And like these cups have like a little line at the bottom and I usually fill it up to that line. And I give it a good mix. Hold it way far away. Um, they, the bottom of the hand. Yeah, I'll show you, Christine. Give me one second. They were gone for like a long time. They might be back in stock. If you go to like one of my videos, go to the description section. There's a link to my Amazon shop and I had them in my shop. They were like marked as sold out for the longest time. I love them. They're called Hands Off Handles. Here, I'll show you. So this is like what they look like on the bottom. And they just screw in and press up against the stretcher bars. And then the lip goes underneath the stretcher bar so it keeps your canvas nice and tight. And then you just screw the things and they act like little stands. And then they're handles, they're awesome. They really are. All right, so there's my Violet Rain and get out my pouring medium. Wipe off my spoon. And this is pretty thick. So I'm not gonna like make a full three ounces because since this is just the one painting. I'll do like an ounce and a half, so halfway, in case I need to call a mulligan or something. And then this is gonna to be too thick because it was sitting in my car in the cold. Give that a little mix. Yeah. Well, hmm, let's add champagne to it. Or the sparkling wine. And then this is the Violet Rain. Ooh, that consistency is like perfect. So there's Violet Rain. I'm gonna pair that with the Crescendo, which is also has gotten thicker being in my car. So I loaded up my car and then I ran a bunch of errands. So we're gonna thin everything out a little bit. So there's the two purples. And then we're going to do some gold. So this is easy. So I'm just gonna take two little cups and we'll ploop some in there. And maybe we'll grab one of the colors I have made up because this is only four. So there's those two. So this is Cuneg. Ooh, ooh. Squirt, squirt, like that much. Mix, mix. Thick, thick. Oh my goodness. As <laughs> a celebrity vibe. How about frost? Let me see with the lavender. Ooh, that might be a good call. Hold on. I'll let you guys pick. So there's Cunag, and then this is gonna be my iridescent um, bright gold. And then I'll show you what I, the other colors I have. Oh my gosh, this is so thick. 
Good grief. Sure thing, Epiphany. Thanks for coming. I'll subscribe to your channel. Thanks for tuning in. All right, so there's my gold. And let me see. Here's the colors I used in the last one. This is frost. Do we like frost? This is um, Wild Atlantic. Or we could do one of the orange yellows. And then we got banana and pistachio. I feel like there should be a green. I don't know what yes. When you're all saying yes, I don't know yes to what. Can you mix the green and frost together? Which green? The pistachio? Like put these two together? Wild Atlantic and frost, mix them together? I'm seeing yes. Does anyone else want me to do what Alexandria wants? Or just use pistachio? I don't have pistachio. This is frost, it's not pistachio, or pistachio, sorry, sorry. Oh, I do have, I also have billabong. Just have pistachio and frost. No, I love the Wild Atlantic. Pistachio, yes, Wild Atlantic and frost. Like mix them together, I'm game. All right, here it goes. Bottoms up. Let's see what this makes. Billabong, Marcia says. Hold on, let's see what this does. I don't think I had enough of Wild Atlantic to really change the frost. Yeah, see, it really didn't do anything. Did I laugh? To warm it up a little bit. What am I warming up? I'm so confused. I'm gonna drink, cause I'm confused. Cheers. The blue. I don't have any blue. Maybe the billabong. I just did, GE. I think I'm ahead of you. I think that's lagging. Just warmed up the pistachio. Yeah, that's not like all that great of a color now. I'm kind of going to overrule you on that because I'm here in person. And yeah, no. So that would just leave. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my gosh. Um, hold on. Oh my gosh. Use them all. <laughs> I think it needs pistachio. I don't have any more. Like what I had in the cup. Oh, you mean this? Like that palette? I'm game for, game for that. I only have like a little bit. How about this palette right here? Yeah, I got, that was definitely a reason to drink. Where'd my, where'd my glass go? Add it, no, I'm not, the Wild Atlantic combos, no. No, that's not gonna happen. It's just gonna be mud. I think I'm gonna go with this. Although I disagree with you guys on this. I don't think it goes with that color palette, but what the hell. Okay. 
All right. Let me move things out of the way. Yes, Mary. Hi, Brian. Happy New Year. It doesn't look right. The green needs to be deeper. That's what how I feel. I'm, I'm, I might skip it. I'm just going to go with my four, y'all. All right. Look, if it looks boring, we'll just throw some more colors and blow it out again. So, you know, it's just paint. That's how I feel. We're just here to have fun. I'm not really trying to make a masterpiece or anything. All right. So this time, let's go like straight up and down. Hey, Britt, Britt. Thanks for coming, honey bun. Happy New Year. Hi, Rebecca. Did I say hi to you before? Oh, my gosh. You bought that paint. Do what you want with it. All right. Here goes. So we're going to start with, you know, Cuneg first because, you know, that's Cuneg. And let's just do, why is Cuneg so thick? Oh my God, look at this. I think the um, paints are thirsty. Hi, Sherry. All right. Cheers for no reason whatsoever. What is my flood paint? It's PPG Multi Pro in eggshell. All right, cheers. Oh, that's good news, Stacy. Please buy them from my Amazon shop so I can make three cents. <laughs> All right, here we go. That q neck's too pale. What do I do with it? Adding some more q neck to my q neck. You know what that is? It's the um, it's the Valspar. Because the Valspar, it always takes like a while for the true colors to come out. It drives me crazy. It really does drive me crazy. So let's do that. And then the gold. do the violet rain violet rain violet rain I can't sing at all and then the crescendo I don't know you guys that kind of feel like these four are gonna be pretty but if not then if it doesn't work out, then we can always, like, mix up some of the Billabong deal. All right. Where's my CA? So I'm just going to put this in a big circle, like right here. And then blow toward those two ends. That was a lot of CA, like way too much. Here goes. Cool air high fan. calling a mulligan so now there's a hell of a lot of paint there 
That was a terrible. Yeah, that was like drunk hair blow drying for sure. <laughs> for sure. That was bad, y'all. I'm going to switch to just doing puddles. Because I don't have my spinner to like rotate. And I was digging into the white and just basically making a giant mess. So Cuneg. Drink up, Karen. Oh my God. You are militant, GE. <laughs> and this laugh counts, so. Mm. All right, clink, clink. And then the gold. We're gonna put, whoops, we're gonna put some gold in between the two purples. Yeah, I think I like that. And not so much CA. Yes, Jean, what is your hair dryer question? I'm trying really hard not to laugh. I am very serious. I am a serious person. Very serious business here. But Jean, what's your question? <laughs> I need to top off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be so drunk. I'm going to be past that 11 and it's going to be all your fault and I'm going to miss the ball drop. Whoa, bubbles. All right. Filling up my glass. The bottle is more than halfway empty. Okay. CA. Serious, serious, oh my God, serious, serious work. A little bit of CA. Let's try this again. Here goes. Hey y'all, I'm sorry, but just those four color combo, that is killer. I got to do this one again, do these colors in my studio where I can rotate the canvas because it was hard for me to like, you know, contort the hair dryer. but I love that color combo, even with the black. So pretty. So let's do a second one. I don't know if I'm going to do three this time, but let's do it again. want to have part of it touch the first bloom so I don't have like a white line running through it. Is the hair dryer function to move the CA? Yes, Jean. So that black puddle, I blow that and I skim it over the colors and the, the reaction from whatever mysterious ingredient is in the Australian flow trial makes the cells and lacing. For this particular technique anyway. So all right, Cune Gold, Violet Rain, 
gold again, right? And then whatever this was, I forgot. I am so buzzed. <laughs> Tried really hard not to laugh. Crescendo, thank you. Crescendo. And then we're gonna put a little gold on top of that just for the CA to sit on. Give it a little home. <laughs> I have the giggles for like no reason whatsoever. I'll drink in a minute. Let me blow it out first, okay? <laughs> Hold on. Whoa, easy on the on the thingy. Where's the hair dryer? Okay, here goes number two. I am, I'm at that really nice stage where you feel like a rubber band, you know, like, like I'm all loose and goosey. <laughs> so when I was blowing this up, I was just kind of like, wee, wee. That is not my best blowout. And I'll point out why. It's like, I left all these, I'm going to blow that out. See this hard line of black right here? That, that needs to be fixed because... I left the cuneg and the gold sitting there untouched. So I'm going to put this on low fan. Five of you here. Oh my gosh. Thanks for joining me all. And like as we goof around. This this is messed up here, just so you know, but it is kind of dramatic. So I'm gonna roll with it and put on some gloves and we'll tilt it out and see what we get. If I hate it, I'll go again. But I'm like I am really <laughs> very happy. dark spot not good <laughs> oh my god <laughs> how am I gonna tilt oh my gosh oh my gosh 
Cheers. All right, let me stare at this. I'm just gonna go to my little corners, you know, to get coverage first. So like this corner is gonna be super easy. Whoa, see how much paint is on there? Bloop. This is gonna bother me. This might, this might get redone, y'all. I don't know if I can make it any better because I'm drunk, but um, I'm deciding where to go so it's not linear. I got like a cool like view, view, view thing. So now we're gonna get sound effects. I'm a big fan of sound effects, so. I've been trying to teach myself how to um, paint with a brush. And there's this guy named Josh, like Paint with Josh, I think is his channel. And I really like him. Mostly, he's an okay painter. He's like not the best, but he does emulate Bob Ross a lot. And um, he, he makes sound effects. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I like him because he makes sound effects. Oh, I just lost a pretty purple part. I got a bird or something up here. You kind of liking it? <laughs> what are bikini corners? This is a bikini corner. So see how it makes a triangle? And then if you had a leg here and a leg here, it would be a bikini. That's a bikini corner. Don't make a rash decision. <laughs> Annalisa. I've had four glasses to drink so far. I don't think I can make a competent decision at this point. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Nanette. All right, I don't like this, this dark spot here. It doesn't go with the rest down here. It just doesn't. I love like this part here. and I don't even mind like Mr. Birdie Beak, but this thing here, it just won't do, y'all. It won't. It just doesn't go with the painting. So we're going to swing it and start taking some of it off. That way. Bear with me. I'm all like, wee! But man, um, I'm kind of, my, kind of proud of myself for thinking of, thinking of the um, hands-off handles. That was a good call for drinking, for sure. Plus, it gives me something to hold on to. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's not a Karen yet. I agree. It's not... It's very wispy, but it's... Um, I don't know if I can make it better because of, of my, my state. I could try. Should I, should I try to make it better? Hi, Mandy. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by, Monique. I appreciate it. The canvas is drunk too, right? I don't think it's half bad for like a drunk piece of art. I could make the uh, champagne like, um, yeah, they do meet me upright, Linda. <laughs> Oh, I got a drink for that, but that was pretty funny. They are keeping me. You like it, Gigi? I don't know. I don't like the dark. I don't. It's too stretchy. We're going again. And this is it because it's like eight thirty, and I don't want to keep you guys all night. Whatever, whatever turns out this time, that's what we're going to roll with, okay? Because that, that's this isn't it. So this is it. I'm gonna be all serious, sorta of, kinda. Did I shock everybody by like pouring over that? No more paint, this is it. 
So, because I'm, I'm going to be out of QNA again, I'm not going to make any more. There's, I have the hiccups. The Kuneg, the gold, and there goes the gold. Oops, I didn't mean to sploop it right there, but oh well. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm too drunk to paint now because I can't even put the puddles down. There goes the gold. There's the violet rain. And since I'm out, let me see here, and here's the crescendo. Let me see what other goldy color I have that's like left over from before. Hey, we have some honeycomb. Let's throw in some honeycomb. Why the hell not? And we can kill that off. And let's kill off, um, what is this? There's only like a little tiny bit left of um, Horizon. Yeah? See, I killed off those other two cups. Okay, let's blow this out. This is it. Oh, it might help if I put down. <gasps> oh, no. Guys, I spilled my cup of cell activator all over my, um, like, I, I knocked over my cell activator cup. Like, look. These, these were the clean cups. Let me see if, I, if there's enough left and then I can scoop it up. I spilled the whole can, the whole, the whole, oops, the whole container of CA. All right, this is it. We're making this one puddle go. Looks like we'll have some negative space. I'm losing my gloves for a second. pretty a pretty good drunk blow up if I do say so myself like the line work here blowing that out my aim was fairly decent like the stuff around the periphery that's kind of a mess 
You know, that's just going to get tilted off. So I was just like looking at the middle. This is really pretty, even though I'm going to lose some of it. This might work out, y'all. I'm optimistic. But I'm also drunk, so, and I'm a very happy drunk, so. Okay. All right, let's hope I don't over, over tilt it. Really pretty colors, I gotta say. I think the colors are really gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna lose some of this, so it's just gonna go off this corner up here. Oh, my middle's still stuck a little bit. Let me see if we can uh, just go side to side a second and then come up like that and then come back down. And that's not black right there, that's purple. We're gonna head to that other corner and lose the old paint. Hold oh, bear with me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go back because I'm gonna save. I lost a little too much right here. I'm gonna take the, um, I'm forgetting words now. I'm gonna take, no, that's, it's too thick from where the hair dryer blew in, so it's, it's stuck to the surface. It's loosened up now, but I'm gonna take this middle and just swing the middle down, and it's gonna make wonky lines on the sides, but that's okay. But I want, it, I want the weight of the paint to be right in the middle of the canvas, which it is, and you can tell by the, the, the arc. And then once the middle goes down, and then you can kind of go side one, and then side two. I think this one's gonna turn out, y'all. Hold on a second. And it's gonna take it off, and let's stop a second. And you come back up, hold on. I'm just trying to give it some movement. I'm going to stick my finger in it right here just to take out some of that black. And plus feel like how much paint is left. And surprisingly, it's not too bad. And then I'm gonna take off like some like this little black part. I'm kind of digging it. What do you guys think? Just like this little black and then stretch it back. Hold on. Just like, I know you can't see, bear with me. So like off it goes and then bring it back. There's still like a ton of paint on here. So I gotta lose some. And then, so I'm thinking of like taking off like some of this um, white, the white part. So we can like go up, head up that way and use the weight of the paint to like Bye-bye, and take that off, and then bring it back. This one's kind of cool. I'm going to take off a little more black. I'm going to keep doing that, like, side to side until... Um, until I have enough paint off of this canvas. Cause since I did, you know, did a mulligan and like redid it, there's an awful lot. Cause it's, it's, I can tell cause it's moving so fast. I'm like, see this, this little part here? Yeah, this exactly. Although Jean, I'm like, for this one, I don't think I would want a spinner cause I like all the negative space at the top and bottom, and that's where it would come off right away. 
Like this part here, I'm not, like I wanna take him off. Just like the edge of it and then like have it stretch out. And since I still need to take off paint, I might get a painting out of this one. Anyway, so hold on. I'm just gonna be brave and go for it. Like have a touch and then bring it back and see, watch it stretch out. And see if we leave it like this, see how it made like a bend. So now like the whole painting has movement to it. And it's like this goes this way and this curls up. I'll be, I'll be, give me 10 seconds. I'm gonna grab um, a toothpick because I'm gonna see how much paint is left on here and whether or not I can walk away from this like it is because I think it's kind of great. Hold on. Okay, so I found some toothpicks. Uh, and I'm gonna stick it here. I think like a little more paint has to come off, like ever, just like a little tiny bit. So I'm gonna tilt it, where am I gonna tilt it? I'm gonna tilt it and like just take this off, like right here. So I can lose like this, these black, and then just enough to tilt them off the side and then bring it back because I really like the composition. So we're just gonna go I know you won't be able to see, just bear with me a second. Because it's gonna take a minute for the paint to roll off there. And off it goes. And get, oh, not quite far enough. Off it goes. Ooh, let me look at it like this before I go back. Do we like it like this? Do you like it like this or should I take it all the way back? Or put it more in the middle? What do you guys think? Me too, Boho Car. I really like the composition. I have no idea who Roz is, by the way. Take it back a little bit. How's that? I really like the movement very, very much. All the way to the middle or stop right there? I think this is pretty great. Ta -da! I wish, see how like this has color here and then it has a little bit of black and white. This is like black and white. So I will tell you tomorrow when I'm sober, I will probably take a little bit of cune and this little part right here, I'll glaze it just so this part has a tiny bit of color to match this. That's the only thing that's bugging me right now. Otherwise, man, super pretty. Woohoo! I'm gonna drink the rest of my glass to that. Yeehaw! I don't know what they're talking about, Sharon. Roz. I don't I don't know what they're 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 drunk too, so just ignore ignore the audience. <laughs> Cheers. All right, I'm gonna give you guys um, a close-up of both and uh, call it a night. I thank you guys so, so much for joining me tonight. That was hella fun. Uh, I had a really good time. I look forward to these every year. Um, it looks heavy because of the color imbalance. 
Where do you think it's imbalanced? Oh, you mean this part up here, Rissa? Yeah. Rods from Monsters, Inc. Okay, hold on. Sorry for the jiggle. I'm going to pop you guys down. We'll look at this one, and then I'll take you over to the other counter to look at the first one. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> look how red my face is. <laughs> okay, drinking game. It's officially over. Look how red I am. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and I just cut off my glass and I drank. I drank three quarters of a bottle of sparkling wine by myself. I'm done. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Let me pop you off my stand and then I'll, I don't know. Can, yeah, I'll flip the camera. Okay, ready? I will drink water, I promise. I'll be good. And Advil before bed, that's a good idea. Hold on. Okay. So here's the first one. I left the little bikini corner just because I thought that one was adorable. But see how this end is like kind of colorful? And then there's all the drama in the middle. And there's the violet rain and there's the crescendo. And then all the different parts of purple. And see how this is a little like too plain? Like this part here needs some color. I think if I give that some color, then if I go like this, the whole thing will be kind of balanced. What do you think? Yeah, but super, I think it's super pretty, yeah? The shimmer, yeah, I can't wait to see the shimmer. I wish I could like show you the dry results right now. I'll add some color right up here, and then I think it'll look fabulous. Yeah? Because the, yeah, uh, thank you, Rebecca. Happy New Year. Um, let me flip around and show you the other one. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about this guy. So here's the other one. It's more, a little more landscapey, but it has movement. And I'll show you some of my favorite bits. It's like this. See how the cells like split and went into two different directions? I, this one I think is really cool. And this part too. Like that is super cool. So no, hold on. We got to stare at the bottom of this. I don't know what the orientation is yet. But this one um, was anything but dry. <laughs> That's so true. And then coming up, here's the middle with all the colors. And if you're like a cell lover, this, this, let me show you this painting. Cause look at it. And then I like the top, the movement at the top here too, very much. Super pretty. Yeah. This one's uh, oh, that turned out really well for drunk pouring, right? I wasn't quite as drunk during that one. So let me flip. <laughs> I can't get over how red how red my face is. <laughs> That's it for me, guys. I'm going to go have a snack, drink some water, take some aspirin, and go plop, clean up and plop myself on the couch. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. Peace out to 2024, and uh, y'all take care. This is so much fun. I could do lives more often because it's so much fun to get a chance to chat with everybody and um, have a good time because that's what it's all about, really. Any last questions, thoughts? The Chloe's hair dryer. Good. Okay, Mom, I will. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Bye. I'm going to sign off. Bye. Okay, how do I sign off? I don't even know. I think up here. Take care, guys.